I consider myself a composer, but I also am a musician, and I think it's important to play other people's music uh, as much, if not more, of my own because I just love other composers. Um, and I've, I've had, I have like forty-five albums out of my own, and um, and I've played on more than three hundred pop records. So, so I think um, I love all all other people's music, and the, and the Beatles, I I never really cared for them in the beginning. So. Uh, because I really did enjoy their later, I did not did not enjoy their later performances. I thought they were not good performers towards the end. But after I just ignored their performances and just listened to their songs, I think they are the, one of the greatest songwriters that we have ever seen. And I've just recently also been able to look at the footage from the early time of the Beatles, and it's amazing for them to perform in a stadium of fifty thousand people with two microphones, one of the band, one of the lead singer. It's uh, it's just unbelievable how great they, they were, and uh, I think the sum total of their work, their contribution is wonderful. So the Beatles album that I released uh, with a little help from my friends, uh, it's just a very respectful nod, taking my jazz sensibilities and their timeless and totally adaptable adaptable melodies and and uh, interpreting them in my friends, uh, both vocals as well as instrumentals. The Carpenters for me, I mean. Uh, you know, my favorite human voice, not necessarily my favorite singer, I, I think that to me a better singer is my favorite human voice and the phrasing of Karen Carpenter is second to none. And and, and, they, and the songs that they did, both their own compositions and the things that they did by uh, Paul Williams and uh, John Bettis and all those other people, such amazing tunes, uh, Roger Nichols, and so, and the background tunes that they did and the few uh, standards they did, like When I Fall In Love, I just, Gorgeous, and so I decided to do a tribute to them. And I, I used to play Carpenter's music uh, on the piano all the time. I was 14 years old, 1974. And Stevie Wonder, definitely my favorite uh, performing artist and composer, songwriter of all time, solo artist. And um, and so it was, you know, this kind of a, a natural progression for me to move on to Stevie. So now I'm thinking, do I want to keep this? I've got two other albums coming out, a live album with, uh, with Louis Nash, the, the, the most recorded drummer in jazz history, and Jay Anderson, who was Sarah Vaughan's bass player, coming out as well later this year, and a vocal album that I've been egged on by all my friends to, to do, and that'll be out in April next year. And so that's all American Songbook, and uh, the uh, live album is a combination of jazz standards and, uh, and originals. I don't think I'll always be doing tribute albums, but for some reason it sells out concerts and sells out so well that I need to do an extra show. So uh, I suppose uh, as long as I got good artists or music to, to do and do tributes for and not feel like it's contrived, and uh, I, I will do it again. And right now I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a, a jazz tribute to the music of Burt Backrack and Hal David.